Hello everyone, today is a perfume video and we're going to be talking about cozy scents. Of course, the idea of coziness is going to vary from person to person because different people find different fragrances cozy, so to say. And of course, another thing is that every single one of us has a scent library, a scent lifetime of experience in their brain. And things that I associate with being comfortable and cozy might be things that you associate with being terrified. For example, my first uh, fragrance reminds me of a fireplace. And if you've been to like, I don't know, a house fire, you perhaps won't find it as, com as comforting as I do. So it's a very personal experience. I tried to select a lineup of fragrances that would be quite universal and will appeal to a lot of people. So these are mostly uh, pretty mainstream. You can find them, you can smell them. Um, I try to do that because I, I do want to give you guys ideas about things that are achievable and findable so that you can yourselves try them if you're interested. So coziness. Um, here I'm talking about different uh, different faces of coziness and different reasons for why I feel these particular scents are cozy and let's get through that. Um, the first fragrance that I wanted to mention is Replica by the Fireplace. This fragrance has definitely appeared on my channel. I've talked about it at length because I think it is one of those scents that is extremely well constructed and very authentic by the Fireplace. Um, they claim it's Chamonix 1971. Sure, it really, really smells like a fireplace with roasted chestnuts wood. That's the whole point. It's literal. It's exactly what it, what it, what it wants to be. It's extremely well translated into the scent. And I think most people would agree that it smells pretty much just like a fireplace. It's quite linear. linear. It does fade a little bit into a more slightly burnt wood slash chestnut scent but it doesn't really transform a whole lot so what you see is what you get with this one it's beautiful it wears a long time have no qualms with the quality of the fragrance very very happy to have it and um wish i had a smaller bottle because this will probably go bad before i have a chance to use it up now this is a very heavy dense scent that definitely plays itself to winter months and it it kind of assumes the winter months um, if you do find fireplaces and bonfires cozy, I think you will find this scent an absolute delight just because it is so literal. It's exactly what it says it is and there is no two ways about it. It certainly smells precisely like a fireplace would and um, it's a, a smell of a fireplace, not the one that is just starting, but the one that's been burning for the last three hours and it's it's really lovely. It's really cozy for me and it's it fades into something quite soft and quite almost touchable. So by the fireplace by Maison Margiela, um, their replica line would be the first winter airy scent that I would call cozy. The next one I wanted to introduce is one of the sweet berry scents. And I am not normally a fan of these. Um, actually, uh, berry scents are almost never what I reach for. Sometimes I really like a sugared plum or something like that. But generally, they seem to me in their majority a little bit juvenile, a little bit simple. However, this is not the case for this scent. It is Black Perfecto from Guerlain from the line of La Petite Robe Noire, so little black dress line. If you're interested, go smell it, the original Eau de Parfum, and they have many flankers. Most of them, almost all of them, except for the Eau Fraiche, which is a totally different scent and should never have been in that lineup at all. They have nothing, it has nothing to do with the rest of the scents. Um, those fragrances are very, very heavy, vanilla heavy, sweet, sugary scents, sort of like berry preserves. Uh, very heavily sugared berry preserves and I mean this still has that flavors has that has that flair of sugary berry preserve like um, scent but it is different from the rest in fact I've decluttered my original Eau de Parfum from the La Petite Aux Noir line because I just no longer needed it once I got this one. Um, Black Perfecto to me is the superior fragrance out of the entire lineup, including the original. If you like super sugary things, you might prefer the original because the original definitely has a lot more of that sweetness 
To me, it's a little bit less sophisticated, a little bit less adult-like, but that might be your preference. You might want something very youthful and something reminding you of the good old days at the club. I don't know, but this one is a lot more elegant. There are slithering notes of, of uh, leather that's been slipped through into this guy, but still, of course, it's still berry based sweet scent at its core why i think this is a good pick for this particular lineup for cozy scents is because i tend to reach for it at night a lot it um it, it really is one of the favorite scents that my husband prefers on me so it's kind of this like cozy intimate atmosphere that i'm trying to create with it and i think this scent lends itself quite well to that it is not lollipop sweetness, so I do still feel like a woman, not a little girl, using it. Um, and there is elegance to it that I think is quite nicely wrapping this fragrance into a more adult package, into a more womanly package. So uh, quite nice, actually, and I've been reaching for it for sure, especially for nighttime, evening time when I go out with my husband or we're, when, whenever we would like cuddle on a couch, for instance. This is a good couch cuddling scent because it's the sort of stuff that makes the other person bury their nose into your neck. Next one is a personal favorite and I've been purchasing Chanel Allure for like a decade maybe. A long, 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 long time. This scent is strongly associated with my husband's sister, uh, Valérie, who um, owned this scent for many years and it was many years ago some kind of old boyfriend gave it to her at some point and she's not a scent wearer but whenever she does wear a scent it's allure because that's what she had that's why i have a pretty strong association between this scent and my sister-in-law but um i have to say the scent on itself it stands on on its own both feet and proudly holds its head up what is allure Allure is a peachy, velvety scent with a very sweet, dense, slightly candied, vanillic uh, presence. The base of it is a very heavy vanilla. I think vanilla is probably a comfort scent for a lot of people. There's a slight dustiness to it, a little bit of mustiness that just relays its sophistication. And I know mustiness doesn't describe a sophisticated sort of scent immediately. It quotes the heavy, thickened, uh, fruity flair that definitely somehow still retains a ton of sophistication. It's shocking to me that such a fruity sweet fragrance is this sophisticated and it speaks to the construction, it speaks to the dosing of the various ingredients that play together and play together so nicely to create this very uh, elevated experience, uh, olfactory experience. It is delightful and very soft and wears down into something quite soft, but this is a powerhouse. It's definitely a very strong, powerful fragrance. It's another parfum. I've really enjoyed wearing it throughout the years. And uh, to me, this is a cozy scent. And although I have this association with my sister-in-law, because when I smell, if I think of a person, she pops into my mind, but it's, it's mine too. And you can really make this scent your own. It is a heavier fragrance. It is probably lending itself more towards the winter months, towards evenings. And it is this fruity, velvety, beautiful, peachy, sweet, vanillic, thick experience that I think is quite cozy. And it wraps you up into this shawl of cashmere. It's, or maybe Angora, it's that soft. It's very, very soft and not buttery, but just, it's like touching, it's like touching chinchilla fur. That's kind of what it feels like to me because I always associate scents with textures. My brain is just wired that way. It's a personal thing. I'm sure I'm not the only one there because I've mentioned that before and people are like, yeah, me too. That's how I feel about scents. I associated them with textures and I describe them as a textural experience, which is what I do too. The next pick is actually super lovely and it is not a new release either. This is Kenzo Amour um, Love, uh, the parfum. This Kenzo in general to me is a wonderful fragrance house. They make some really magical scents for a mainstream production, um, which I think is extremely admirable. I think they deserve far more hype than what they get. This guy 
first of all to me is wonderful in terms of packaging i wish it was magnetized because the the cap only fits one way so you have to fiddle with it to make sure that it fits i enjoy the scent so much for me this is coziness because it is so such a such a breathy soft again textural experience it is another vanilla but this vanilla is far less sweet very dry very tamed because allures vanilla can really knock you off your feet if you overdose it amour is much less forceful in that way here the vanilla is you know it's tame it's sweet but very dry so it doesn't create the same like mouth-watering effect and it's topped up with some flowers it's topped up with some other ingredients but what I smell here and what makes me somehow feel that it's very cozy is the rice note. The dried rice note is just beautiful in here. It is such a soft and light and airy vanilla scent. This dryness of the rice really lifts it and doesn't let it, you know, drown you out, which again, Allure can do if you overuse it or use it in inappropriate weather. For instance, sticky hot weather, you will suffocate with Allure most likely. This one probably won't do that to you. Um, it's beautiful in terms of packaging. It's very architectural and every angle is different and you can really enjoy looking at it. It's a decoration really for your room, especially if you're monochromatic otherwise. It's a pop of color. It's really beautiful. Again, the cap thing is annoying. I wish it was magnetized, but otherwise it is very very comforting it is so soft it is so feminine it is such an accepting fragrance that i could not not include it i reach for this a lot because for me this is an all occasion acceptable for anything kind of scent just because it's not intrusive it's just it's just making your life better uh playing with the undercurrents of your mood because it's so agreeable it's such a beautiful little gem i enjoy it a lot and i'll definitely keep repurchasing it because it's only my first bottle i purchased it and discovered it for myself quite recently so um it isn't something i've had a chance to repurchase many times quite yet but i really 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 enjoy it and i don't see myself really getting past it so easily next we have definitely this is not going to work for everybody but it is going to work for those of you who have experienced uh, throughout many years of your life the scent of meteorites little tiny spheres um guerlain releases this powder and has released this powder for decades the meteorites powder and it is those glowy little spheres in a beautiful box and you swirl your brush and powder yourself and it has candied violets scent to it it's a very scented powder not, again not for everybody so if you have that experience of your mom and grandma having used that you will probably or, or you having used that for many years you will enjoy this scent um, even if you don't have that experience if you like violets and sweeter light feminine violet scent you probably will enjoy that scent as well this is balenciaga paris let's just get to it what is it and to me this is probably the closest that i'm finding at this time on the market something available um, at this time to the meteorites powder which is for me a very nostalgic comforting scent and if you like a floral if you like candied violets and you find that comforting and cozy you probably will enjoy this as well i find in general uh, violet scents extremely pleasing and cozy for me but that probably has to do with the fact that i've been collecting meteorites for the better part of my adult life <laughs> so um if you're looking for something like that something slightly powdery sweet and violety then balenciaga paris is definitely going to be your a good pick for you your best friend why do i think i have to warn you guys if you haven't yet sniffed uh, the meteorites of the parfum the stuff that the girl on released fairly recently as part of their meteorites range and they've released meteorites parfum before and it was very authentic from what i hear i have been too young to have purchased it at the time it was released i think in 2000 so the current release of meteorites of the parfum is garbage in my humble opinion some people really like it but nobody nobody can claim that it smells much like meteorites it's quite fruity and apple based for that which is that that note is not not present in meteorites at all I think it's a fraud. I think the scent is a fraud. I think they shouldn't have marketed it as a meteorite scent because it isn't. Um, it is not nothing close to it. And it was very disappointing when I purchased it and I had to declutter it. I sold it. 
um, from my recent declutter. I'll link down below my declutter where I'm talking about it. It was extremely disappointing. It smelled nothing like the actual meteorites, which is what was the claim of the fragrance in the first place. And what I'm trying to say here, if you do want meteorite smell, uh, the, it's not straight from the bottle. Straight from the bottle, it smells a lot like meteorites, this one, the Balenciaga one. But after maybe 30 to 40 minutes on skin, that's when it really smells like meteorites to me. Um, but this is the closest find. And I will keep repurchasing it because at this point, this fragrance have really had really become nostalgic for me and cozy for that very reason. So this is the... Um, the vintage vanity kind of scent is what I like to call it and it's lovely and it's gentle and it wears very very nicely and it does transform pretty much into the scent of the actual meteorites powder so if you're after that here you go you're welcome um, lastly I picked a very vintage um, inspired scent and this is Shalimar Eau de Parfum the range of Shalimar is one of my favorites but it had recently released so many horribly disappointing uh, fragrances again i've decluttered a couple and i'm leaving it down below uh, the original I've, I've used for many years and this is not my first bottle so obviously i'm including it um initial is also a beautiful beautiful scent from that range uh some of the previous initial flankers are quite good too but the last two to three releases in that range were just terrible so i wouldn't bother with them however the original shalimar this little vintage find is absolutely delightful and again if you have a mom or a grandma or an aunt who used Shalimar because that's well that was the deal it was released I believe in the 20s if I'm correct um, if I remember right initially not this particular bottle obviously it is a slightly burnt vanillic caramel vanilla undertone overlaid with some florals a little bit of citrus um, a certain amount of musk this definitely is for sure a vintage scent in its essence so that's why i'm including it into the cozy fragrances because this one represents vintage scents and i think beautifully beautifully made still relevant very wearable um, you can dose it to be an evening fragrance you can dose it to be a daytime wear fragrance and I think it's just, it's just so elevated, it's just so elegant, it's just so beautifully done that it's totally worth checking out if you're into the vintage vibes, which obviously I am and it's, it's my thing, it's my jam. Um, Shalimar is definitely go check it out kind of scent, especially if you're a fan of vanillic fragrances but not a common sugary, bakery, sweety, sweet, sweet vanilla. If you want a drier vanilla that is extremely sophisticated and elevated and has a vintage flair, Shalimar is going to be a good line for you to check out. There's definitely a slightly burnt sensation to it, which absolutely lifts it out of the commons and into the aristocrats. Uh, really, really pretty scent and uh, such a wonderful, history behind it uh absolutely worth checking out if you are into the vintages of this uh fragrance world so here are the six fragrances that i thought were appropriate to be placed in the cozy category let me know what you find cozy in terms of fragrances yourself down below that's it for today have a wonderful day good luck see you later bye bye